Hi, my name is Mike Morris, and this is Good Things Kitchener. While through this pandemic, so many of the challenges we face have been made worse, be it mental health or gender-based violence or the affordability of housing, at the same time, there's been so much good sprouting up all around us. And the goal of this series is to shine a light on these good things in Kitchener. I wanted to start with the Kitchener Public Library and their recent uh, offering of free skate bor uh, borrowing from the main branch. Now, a few weeks earlier, they announced that they've eliminated fines, taking away one more bar barrier for families to access their services. And more recently, they've now also shared that anyone can borrow a pair of skates from the main branch. To do so, one option is you can just show up at the main branch and call them when you when you get there. Their number's on the screen. It's 519-574-4583. Or if you'd like, you can reserve a pair in advance up to 30 minutes before by going to their uh, website, kpl.org slash skates. Uh, on that site, you can also check for availability and sizing. You can read all about the different COVID safety precautions that they're taking. And, uh, and, and you can see a list of all of the more than 30 outdoor rinks right across the city, all maintained by volunteers. Um, in the midst of this pandemic, as we're all looking for different ways to continue to get good exercise, uh, grabbing a pair of skates and, uh, and finding an outdoor rink is a great option including the one that's directly outside the main branch. Next, I wanted to share with you a little bit about Community Fridge KW. This is a group of young people that have come together to provide access to a 24 seven, no stigma, no surveillance way for anyone to access both perishable and non-perishable food. The fridge is located downtown Kitchener, right outside Full Circle Foods. So it's at the corner of Charles and, uh, and Queen. Uh, many individuals and businesses have been contributing food regularly, and you're welcome to do so as well. Anytime, feel free to just drop off food at the fridge. You can also contact them about volunteering. Uh, they have folks that are checking on food and cleaning to follow COVID protocols three times a day. Um, you can email them at communityfridgekw at gmail.com. Or you can message them directly on Facebook or on Instagram, Community Fridge KW. Last, certainly not least, I want to share a bit with you about Tiny Home Takeout at St. Mary's Church. Uh, this is where they're offering pizza and soup five days a week from Tuesday to Saturday night from five until seven o'clock for anyone who wants great food cooked with care and served with dignity. You can find them just outside St. Mary's Church at the, at the corner of Duke and Young. Just look for the open sign outside of, of a tiny home and volunteers that are ready to share with you a meal. If you'd like to contribute, they accept both debit and cash on site, or you can make a donation online. Uh, the link is tinyhometakeout.com slash donate. Uh, I love the approach that, that they're taking. Their slogan is grab a bite, and give if you can. So there you have it. Just in the past few weeks, uh, three different kind of good things have started to pop up across the city in the midst of a pandemic. If you've got ideas for other good things you see happening that you'd like me to spotlight, please just let me know in the uh, comments. Uh, we can look at doing that for the, for the next one. Look forward to seeing you again then.